This is a baking fail, and that's probably due to the enzyme in yeast, which failed to produce carbon dioxide and make this bread rise. Let's look at what happens when an enzyme denatures. Enzymes are biological catalysts, and what their main job is to do is to speed up biological processes to make them happen in a reasonable amount of time. The way that they do this is to do with their shape. Enzymes have a very, very unique shape, and part of that is called an active site. The active site is what binds to the substrate that the enzyme is actually trying to make react. The shape of the active site and the shape of the enzyme is down to the tertiary structure or quaternary structure of a protein because enzymes are made from proteins. This 3D shape or the tertiary or quaternary structure of a protein is due to the interactions or intermolecular forces between side chains of amino acids which make up your protein or enzyme. Now just imagine what would happen to the function of this enzyme if it changed shape. Well, what would happen is that these intermolecular forces would no longer be able to be created and therefore the substrate would no longer be able to bind to the enzyme and therefore the reaction will no longer be able to be catalyzed. So the reaction rate will drop or the reaction will actually cease to happen at all. And that's what could have happened to the poor person who tried to make this bread. What may have happened is the protein or enzyme may have become denatured and unraveled. And you can see here that what once our substrate would have fitted the active site and formed bonds with the active site, once it changed shape, it was no longer able to fit the active site and therefore the yeast would no longer be able to break down our glucose. So therefore we got no carbon dioxide forming and thus our bread is a pile of goo. Cast your mind back to protein structure and the word denaturation because that's what this process is. It's a denaturation or loss of our secondary, tertiary and quaternary structures. What are the things that cause this denaturation? That is changes in temperature and changes in pH. So therefore you've got a sweet spot for pH. Anything too high or too low causes denaturation, a loss of a tertiary structure, you no longer have that active site and it can't bond with the substrate to react. With temperature, you've got a sweet spot as well. Anything too high causes again denaturation, loss of 3D structure, loss of tertiary structure, no bonding to the active site. However, if you get too low, it's not denaturation, which causes a low rate of reaction. What you have if you get a too low temperature is you get less collision. So collision theory comes into play. And so that is why we have a sweet spot for pH, a sweet spot for temperature in terms of enzyme action.